Hey you guys, Bubba Sawyer here showing you my recent purchase, a 12 gauge shotgun. Holds five down in here in the magazine tube. One in the barrel, so it holds six shots. But uh, I normally keep five in it. Uh, I only keep six in it unless I'm going squirrel hunting or, uh, you know, for home defense if somebody's busting the door down. This is not a Mossberg or a Winchester or a Remington 870. Or any big brands like that. This is an American Tactical. Now I got this at the pawn shop. And I asked the guy if this was a good gun. Because you know. I didn't want to give no big high dollars for these guns. I got it for a fairly good price. I didn't, uh, all the, the other like the Remington. Or the Mossberg and all them. They wanted five, six hundred dollars for a beat up used one. So I got this and at a decent price. It's an Amer it's American Tactical uh, shotgun. It's made in uh, Rochester, New York. It's imported by let's see here, Auto Man Guns Turkey. I guess that's where it's made at in Turkey. Or it's supplied in Rochester, New York. I guess uh, the stock here just a hollow top plastic I don't know if it's fiberglass but it's plastic up here too hard plastic it's overall gun probably weighs about six seven pounds I mean it's fairly light shotgun be a good rabbit gun I'm just shooting uh, target practice uh, Suprema premium 12 gauge game and target loads it's a two it's a well you can read right here it's a eight shot uh i got these because they're five dollars or something for a box uh i didn't want to get double off buck because that's them's higher so i just thought i'd get these for no more than what i use if how scare somebody out the property this would be more than enough i got a couple of boxes of these which was ten dollars uh this is a fairly nice shotgun. You know, it's uh it's unloaded. Don't have anything in there. See if I can rock it back here real quick, show you guys. I mean the action on this thing is, is smooth. It's got a smooth action. Uh there's the ejector port. Looks pretty clean. It's oiled up fairly nice. Flip it over. Load them down in the magazine tube. You gotta thrust them in there. Because if you could be being tedious with it, if one slips in behind this, you have a hard time getting it out. Because I did that with my uh, 20 gauge when I was younger. My dad told me how to be, you know, be forceful with it. You can't be scared you're gonna tear something up. Because I barely put one in there. It didn't click in and it, and it sprung back and went in the hind that. Oh boy, man, that was a hard time getting that out. We had to dig that shell up with a screwdriver to get it out. But I like the short barrels. I don't like the long barrel. They had a cheaper one. Uh, about the same price as this, but it had a longer barrel. And it was like this, but I didn't want to have to hack nothing off. I'm looking online for a cheap uh, pistol grip to put on it. To eliminate the stock, I want a good home defense shotgun. I don't want this big stock on there because it makes it too long. The legal length has to be uh, 26 inches or longer. It can't be under. But, uh, uh, so really say 27. But when I measured, I put the stock on, I measured from the tip of the barrel right here. All the way to about right in here was about 32, 33 inches. So I'm safe on that. A lot of people's got their magazine. Or sorry, got those side plates here on the other side that hold shells. I'm not going to put nothing like that on there. I might look at a heat guard to go on top, see if they got a... Because they said this was modeled out the Remington 870 clone. Uh, plastic, plastic, and the, the trigger guard is also plastic, which is kind of a downfall, but it eliminates weight on it. I mean, this is light. Feels like something they'd carry in a police car. But there, guys, there's what it looks like. 
my recent purchase. Thought I'd buy myself a little something because my anniversary is coming up. Been married one year. Uh, been engaged almost uh, two years. Year and a half been engaged. But uh, yeah, this 12 gauge, uh, just something to just something to have, fool around with. Thought I'd show you guys, it's fairly nice. I mean, it's not no big high-end, high-dollar shotgun, but I was going to get the one at Walmart for $99, but it, it looked, God almighty, it was cheap. Some guy said it wouldn't last long. You get so many rounds through it and said it wasn't really that great of quality. I felt of it. It felt like it weighed a pound. It felt like a toy, but yeah, this is no more than what I'm going to do with it. This would be fine. This is all I'll run through it. I might get some double off buck off my dad and try it if it'll hold up to it. It's nice though. Uh, it ain't got the bead side. It's got this uh, sight here that's pretty nice. I like it. But overall, guys, this is a nice gun. Uh, let me know what kind of shotgun you all got in the comments below. Let me know what you think, guys. American Tactical Shotgun. Pretty nice, guys. As always, keep it safe and uh, never keep this thing loaded around children. And if you do keep it loaded, do not have one in the barrel. And also keep your safe on unless you're ready to kill. But uh, don't ever give your gun, leave your guns laying around children, whether it's loaded or not, because you don't want to teach them unsafe habits. You want to teach kids that guns are dangerous. But here's a shotgun, guys. Hoorah! Thanks for watching, guys.